linear equations in one variable exercise 2.5 in this video i will explain question number 2 to question number 7 so okay question number 1 already we have finished in the previous ex previous video question number 2 given what number is that of which the third part exceeds the fifth part by 4 so here one number is given and condition is given third part exceeds and extra out to me third part exceeds the fifth part by four third part and the fifth part can have four times so extra out to them matter so I got a here you let it uh, the number is X okay the third part of a number is X by three third part and X low three parts and matter so X by three so fifth part of a number and X by five so condition is given the third part of a number exceeds the fifth part of a number by 4. So, third part and the fifth part can 4 times extra. So, then we have equation formula right and key. Third part and x by 3 minus fifth part and x by 5 is equal to 4. So, this is simplification. Here LCM is 3, 5 is 15. 5 into x 5x minus 3 into x 3x is equal to 4. So then phi x minus 3x is 2x. 15 you take this side is it is multiplied 4 into 15. Then x is equal to 2 is multiplying, you take right side, it is divided 4 into 15 by 2. So 2 ones are 2 twos are 15 twos are so 30. Therefore, the num the number is x is equal to 30. This is the answer. Question number three: the difference between two positive integers is 36. So two positive in integers difference is 36. Given the coefficient when one integer is divided by the other is 4 so find the integers so what are those integers we have to find out here hint is given if one number is x then the other number is x minus 36 so that's why here you let it the two positive integers are x and x minus 36 as for the hint okay two numbers uh, difference is 36 that's why we should take like this given if one number is divided by the second number then the quotient is 4 one number is divided one number means x other number is second number is x by x minus 36 so this number is divided by this number so then x by x minus 36 one number divided by other number is equal to 4 this is the quotient so this is by simplification you take 4 means 4 by 1 you take this one you take cross multiplication x into 1 is equal to x 4 into this 4 into x minus 36 so x is equal to 4 into x is 4x 4 into 36 4 into 36 is 144 now 144 you take this side plus 144 4x plus x you take right side minus x here it is 144 is equal to 4x minus x is 3x. Here 3 is multiplying, you take right side, left side. This is x is equal to 144 by 3. So this one by cancellation 3 1s are 3 4s are 12, 3 8s are 24. It is equal to 48. Therefore, one number is equal to x is equal to 48 and the second number is equal to x minus 36 this is equal to uh, first number is 48 minus 36 it is equal to 12 so this is the answer first number is 48 second number is 12 question number 4 the numerator of a fraction is 4 less than the denominator so numerator is lesser than the denominator four times if one is added to both the numerator and denominator it becomes one by two so find the fraction 
here you let it the denominator is denominator first you let it that is the x numerator is given is only given 4 times less than the denominator so 4 less than the denominator means x minus 4 x is the num denominator numerator is x minus 4 so given condition given if 1 is added so 1 is added to both numerator and denominator then it is equal to 1 by 2 ok so numerator and denominator means numerator is x sorry numerator is x minus 4 denominator is x and both are added with 1 both are added with 1 numerator is added with 1 denominator is also added with 1 this is equal to 1 by 2 numerator added with 1 and denominator added with 1 this is equal to 1 by 2 according to problem now simplify it x minus 4 plus 1 is minus 3 by x plus 1 is equal to 1 by 2 this one you take cross multiplication 2 into this 2 into x minus 3 is equal to 1 into this 1 into x plus 1 so 2 into x is 2x minus 2 3 is a 6 is equal to 1 into x x 1 into 1 is 1 2x plus x you take left side minus x minus 6 you take right side plus 6 so 2x minus x is x is equal to 6 plus 1 is 7 therefore x is the denominator the denominator denominator is equal to x is equal to 7 so and uh, the numerator is equal to numerator we have taken x minus 4 so x is 7 7 minus 4 is equal to 3 therefore fraction is equal to fraction is equal to numerator numerator by denominator that is 3 by 7 this is answer question number 5 find 3 consecutive numbers such that if they are divided by 10 2 consecutive number means uh, suppose 5 6 7 8 like that 3 consecutive number 3 numbers we have 1 by 1 that is 10 uh, divided by 10 17 and uh, 26 first number is divided by 10 second number is divided by 17 third number is divided by 16 sorry 26 respectively the sum of their quotients will be 10 ok so here int is given let the consecutive numbers are x x plus 1 x plus 2 so these are divided by first number is divided by 10 second number is divided by 17 third number is divided by 26 sum of these values is equal to 10 is given so that only I wrote here the answer let three consecutive numbers assume that x x plus 1 x plus 2 respectively so given that x x plus 1 x plus 2 are divided by 10 17 26 respectively then the sum of their coefficient is 10 so that is x by 10 plus x plus 1 by 17 plus x plus 2 by 26 is equal to 10 so here it is 10, 17, 26 you take LCM in this rough this is the rough 10, 17, 26 here you take 2 table 2 5 is a 17 is 17 here it is 2 13 this is 2 into 5 into 7 into 13 this is equal to 2 5 is a 10 10 into 13 is 130 130 into 17 it is equal to 2210 so now here you see LCM is 2210 so this is divisible by 10 means it is 221 you get it 221 into x 221 into x plus 17 17 means remaining terms are 10 into 13 is 130 130 into x plus 1 
plus 26 26 means here 13 2 is a 26 so means 17 5 is a remaining 17 5 is a we have the 85 so 85 into x plus 2 is equal to 10 so then 221 x is 221 x plus 130 into x is 130x plus 130 into 1 130 plus 85 into x 85x plus 85 2 is a 170 this is equal to 2210 into 10 2210 into 10 221x 130x plus 85x these all three values get together we get it 436x plus 130 130 plus 170 this is 300 I think it is 300 is equal to this into this is 22,100 then 300 you take right side 436x is equal to 22,100 minus 300 then x is equal to this minus this is 2800 by this is a take your division 436 here this one you take the division in the rough 21800 divided by 436 so 436 you take the 5 times 5 6 is a 30 3 5 3 is a 15 plus 3 18 1 5 4 is a 20 plus 1 21 so 1 0 remaining this 0 you keep here 50 this is equal to 50 therefore 3 numbers 1 number x is equal to 50 second number x plus 1 is equal to 50 plus 1 that is 51 third number x plus 2 is equal to 50 plus 2 is equal to 52 therefore 3 consecutive numbers numbers are 50, 51 and 52 this is the answer question number 6 in a class of 40 people the number of girls is 3 fifth of the number of boys so 3 fifth means 3 by 5 find the number of boys in the class so first you let it the number of boys is x so number of girls is given the condition is 3 fifth of the number of boys 3 fifth of the number of boys means 3 fifth means 3 by 5 number of boys means x this is equal to 3 into x 3x by 5 these are the number of girls so given total number of people is in the class is 40 total students are given 40 people means students so total students is given 40 total students means boys plus girls boys is x girls means 3x by 5 is equal to 40 here it is by 1 you take so 1 into 5 5 into x plus 1 into 3x is equal to 40 5 into x is 5x plus 3x into 1 is 3x by 5 1s are 5 is equal to 40 5x plus 3x is 8x 5 you take multiply here 40 into 5 so 8 is multiplying here you take this side division 40 into 5 by 8 8 1s are 8 5s are so 5 5s are 25 therefore number of boys is equal to x is equal to 25 number of girls is equal to 3x by 5 that is 3 into 25 x means 25 by 5 5 ones are 5 5 fives are so 3 into 5 3 fives are 15 numbers girls 25 numbers boys question number 7 after 15 years Mary's age will be 4 times of her present age so 15 years tarvata ame age present age ki 4 times equal to than matter over the marriage age 
ఫైండ్ హర్ ప్రజెంటేజ్ ప్రజెంటేజ్ ఏముంది సో ప్రజెంటేజ్ ఏముంది అనే కాబట్టి మనం లెట్ ఇట్ ప్రజెంటేజ్ ఆఫ్ మ్యారేజ్ ఎక్స్ ఇయర్స్ ప్రజెంటేజ్ ఎక్స్ ఇయర్స్ అనుకుందాం సో ఆఫ్టర్ ఫిఫ్టీన్ ఇయర్స్ మ్యారేజ్ ఏజెస్ ఎక్స్ ప్లస్ ఫిఫ్టీన్ ఫిఫ్టీన్ ఇయర్స్ తర్వాత అంటే ఇప్పుడు ఉన్న ఏజ్కి ఫిఫ్టీన్ ఇయర్స్ ఎక్స్ట్రా అనమాట అంటే ఎక్స్ ప్లస్ ఫిఫ్టీన్ ఇయర్స్ సో గివెన్ దట్ ఆఫ్టర్ ఫిఫ్టీన్ ఇయర్స్ మ్యారేజ్ ఏజ్ ఈజ్ ఈక్వల్ టు ఫోర్ టైమ్స్ ఆఫ్ ద ఫోర్ టైమ్స్ ఆఫ్ ద హర్ ప్రజెంట్ ఏజ్ దిస్ ఈస్ అ గివెన్ కండిషన్ ఇన్ ద ప్రాబ్లమ్ సో ఆఫ్టర్ ఫిఫ్టీన్ ఇయర్స్ మ్యారేజ్ ఏజ్ ఇస్ ఎక్స్ ప్లస్ ఫిఫ్టీన్ ఫోర్ టైమ్స్ అంటే ఫోర్ ఇంటూ ప్రజెంట్ ఏజ్ ఫోర్ ఇంటూ ఎక్స్ దెన్ సింప్లిఫై టు గెట్ ద ఆన్సర్ ఈజీలీ x plus 15 is equal to 4 into x is 4x. So this x you take right side. 15 is equal to 4x plus x you take right side minus x. 15 is equal to 4x minus x is 3x. So x is equal to 15 by 3. 3 1s are 3 5s are that is 5. Therefore, therefore the present age of marriage is equal to 5 years this is the answer